and girls, hey everybody, this is your doc, Dr. Morgan, and this show is for you and you, and that's right partners, especially you. Today, we are going to talk about something I love, and that's our us's, our senior citizens, that's the us's in us. I am so privileged to reach my age and still can talk about us's. Now, let's talk about this. First of all, you know, I was humming a song, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made, hallelujah, I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in you, and be glad in you, oh, oh, oh this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Dum, dum, dum. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Now, thank you for listening. And you know I cannot sing, but <laughs> I'm putting this out there. Now, this is the day. For everyone who's listening in, this is the day. This is your day. Remember, you have a power within you that is unbeknownst. And that power, that power is all through you, working all through you. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Now, we are going to talk about this wonderful subject, high blood pressure. Why? Well, are you, as you know, I've been in practice over 40 years, and about, hmm, about 90% of my patients have high blood pressure. High blood pressure. Dr. Morgan, you say yes, they do. But what do you mean? High blood pressure is basically 120 over 75 or 80. And what do you mean by that? That means the systolic is 120 and the diastolic is 80 or 75. I mean, 1 over 8. And then what happens when you Take your blood pressure, you use a blood pressure cup, and you put it to your arm, or you put it to here, so I have put it to here, and you pump it up, and we can, when you can hear it coming up, boom, 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 and then it's beginning to slow down, you know that's your, breath, that's your blood pressure. And so many of us have high blood pressure, and our seniors, especially our seniors, have high blood pressure. So what do we do about high blood pressure? What, what are some of the symptoms of high blood pressure? Well, you know, you're, you're talking to someone and all of a sudden, I've seen this happen, you veer off to something else and you don't realize it and it's slowly but surely veering off for something else you're talking about. And the person you're talking to is listening to you but they're saying, I wonder what's wrong with them. And you're veering up. Well, see, there's something wrong with your system when you start veering off like that, especially when you have one particular subject. That's one way you got high blood pressure. And other ways you have high blood pressure when, you know, you, you, you could be sitting there sometime and you hear your heart just beating boom, 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 boom. And you're quiet. And, you know, you're just quiet. But, yes, you hear your heart beat. Boom, 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 boom. Something's wrong. And only you can catch that. So the best bet is have your doctor or your significant other or your nurse or whomever to check you out. One of the things that you want to do with high blood pressure, go to your doctor, have them to check your pressure, and make sure they write it down, and then you take it, you know, I mean, if you can't take it, make sure you write it down because you, high blood pressure is, they call it a silent killer. And it kills a lot of people. Young and old. At first, I thought it was basically older people. Boy, was I wrong. High blood pressure can kill young and old. If you smoke, stop smoking because that restricts, that restricts the blood vessels in your body. And with a restricted blood vessel, the blood can't flow up and down, in and out, up and down. So therefore, 
you have to be careful if you smoke. If you drink, well, I can't say nothing, anything wrong with drinking. But if you find yourself a little overindulging, getting yourself a little high and stuff like that, okay, again, your blood being restricted. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is with high blood pressure that a lot of people don't even want me to talk about with this, okay? High blood pressure is when going, you know, your heart bumps. You know, remember your heart? The doom, the doom, the doom. And remember, the heart goes through all the vessels in the body. Remember? And, and it flows because I can use my hand, I can use my legs, I can use anything because the blood is flowing, carrying good blood in where the black blood was, okay? When you have high blood pressure, it restricts that movement. And when it restricts the movement, the body, it, it, it slows down too much. And when it slows down too much, boom, you have this, like this feeling. And you don't know what the feeling is, and you'll have what they call a stroke. And a stroke means the blood stop. And when that blood stop, it affects the heart. And you can't do nothing. In other words, you can't do anything. So that's why high blood pressure is very, very bad. And while I'm talking about this, this is something that people, people don't even, they don't realize how bad it is. Now they say high blood pressure goes between 120 on the top and 175, okay? And blood pressure signs, we really got to know about that. Okay, let's talk about this. The 10 high blood pressure signs, the 10 most common symptoms of high blood pressure would be, oh yeah, another thing, I forgot to tell you this. Another word for high blood pressure, it's called hypertension. So you're hyper, your blood is up and it's tension, it's tight. Hypertension through the body is high blood pressure. So I'm telling you this, please check yourself. I know, I was, man, I was sick as a dog. I'm running around seeing everybody, didn't even realize I had it. So please check yourself. Please have yourself checked. I cannot tell you enough about this high blood pressure. First, here, let's just talk about this. Okay, how to lower the blood pressure quickly, per first, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, it's one of the most commonly found cardiovascular problems. And even though it's been through the years and the tragic events, it's associated with an important increase in cardiovascular ink. You know, high blood pressure will kill you. If you survive a stroke, consider yourself one of the most luckiest persons on earth. Please, if you survive that, okay, we're going to talk about the common symptoms of high blood pressure. Okay. If you have blood coming out your nose and you haven't had blood coming out your nose, that may be a symptom of high blood pressure. If you have, <clears throat> like you feel like a crisis or something like that, you don't know, uh, you have no idea, you, you get all upset about something where you don't normally get upset, that may be another symptom. If you may be tired, and feel exhausted when you're not supposed to feel tired and exhausted. That may be another symptom. See, remember, I tell, let me, I'm going to explain to you this very, very carefully. The body constantly talks to us about different things. I want you to remember that. What are you talking about, Dr. Morgan? Okay, how I said that. Okay, when you have to go to the bathroom, what does the body tell you? I got to pee. <laughs> The bath, the body will tell you, I got to go to the bath, I got to pee, or I got to defecate. And you know, as you know, defecate is a big word for doo-doo. So I'm just going to say, I got to pee. The body tell you that. So the body said, look, you can sit here all you want to, or get up and go to the bathroom, because I'm going to come out, see? So that's the body telling you that. Well, the same thing when you have high blood pressure. If you don't feel, if you're all right, you, you feel exhausted. I mean, you're sitting down, you feel exhausted. You don't know what's wrong with you. You just feel like tired. 
You may have a symptom of high blood pressure. You didn't know. Okay, or you may feel anxious. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And you're not like that before. That may be another symptom of high blood pressure. We don't know. You know, but yes, we do know. But we know one thing. There are so many things that's going on here. Let us look into this. High blood pressure. Check your high blood. Okay. Watch your food that you eat. If you eat a foods, a lot of food and salts. Hamburgers high in salt. My brothers, McDonald's and Mc this one and Mc that one and Burger King and everybody. They are so good, man. Those hamburgers. But did you know from a tip that I got, one of the executives at one of the uh, things at Burger King or McDonald's did not make it because they ate so many hamburgers and they were full of grease. See? People don't realize that grease and all other kind of greases. These are things that cause salt in the body and restricts the blood flow and you can get high blood pressure. So, I mean, so you want to broil a lot of your meats. You want to not have a lot of meats that have salt contents in them, right? You want, when you broil, you want to just make sure you try to get a lot of grease out your meats. Watch your food. Watch your food intake. That helps your blood. Okay, let's talk about something else. Drink tons of water. What do you mean? Water right now, and, and at least in the United States, it's free drinking water. Go to the bathroom. Urinate it out. So I say the other word? Pee it out. You know, go to the Drink tons of water. Pee it out. You know, what, another thing. Rest that precious body. Lord have mercy. Even if you have to take a nap during the day. Rest that body. Let the rest rejuvenate in that body. All these things help to lower the blood pressure. Another thing, meditation. Just meditate. And how you do that, you just sit there. Think about some good things, you know, and let them come in. One thing I love to do is laugh. I love the cartoons, you know, all the cartoons come on, and I sit there and laugh. Okay, talking about television. If all that stuff on TV about everybody killing each other, turn that crap off. Turn it off because it's not worth it. This one killing that one, that one killing that one. Now, let's talk about that because I believe this in my heart and soul. I believe this. When you turn on television and you see all that garbage, our children see it and our children believe it. And so, all right now, everything is what? People killing each other, our kids killing each other and all that stuff. Because they see that junk on television, you know. And that's the sad thing about it. They see that stuff on TV. And when they see that stuff on TV, they think it's real. And it's no more real than anything else. So watch what your children watch. Because see, one of the biggest problems that we have in high blood pressure is called stress. Oh, Dr. Morgan, I'm not stressed out. Yeah, right. You got kids? Next. That can stretch you out. So you watch your things. All you have to do is watch. Uh, Johnny, I don't like that. But mom, but mom, nothing. I don't like that. You know what I mean? Use, use what you have. You know. Stress will kill you. Well, I'm not even going to go there. Because stress, you get so bent up out of shape, what happens? You, you get bent up out of shape. You think about different things. They restrict your blood pressure. Your blood pressure then going down. And before you know it, you got high blood pressure again. And you don't even realize you got high blood pressure. So this is up to you. You have to take quality within yourself. You have to realize who you are. You know, and yes, I love being me. I love because... 
this is my day, you know. Like, we're going into a new year, you know. And as we go into or as we are into it, take the time to take the time for yourself. Because remember, you are all that and a piece of apple pie. I remember it was yesterday I met one of the state's senators. They said, hey, Dr. Morgan. I said, hello. Well, I'm, you know, how you doing? I said, I'm fine. Well, what do you think? I said, you know, you are all that, the piece of apple pie. Well, you need to think that about yourself. You, you are listening to me right now, are all that and a piece of apple pie. Now, if I can tell you about high blood pressure, why am I so into this? Because I got sick. I didn't even realize I was as sick as I was. And thank the Lord that I'm here to talk about it right now. I was so much into it that I got sick. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting up here talking and everything, and all of a sudden, I didn't feel well. Well, what was happening? My blood pressure was acting crazy then. And a lot of my friends, the same thing. And I thank the Lord that I didn't die. Because just as I'm talking to you right now, I could have died not knowing what was wrong with me. So I had to take control of myself the best way I could. And you have taken control of yourself the best way you can. Okay? Now, I need some feedback. Anyone who's watching the program, send in some feedback to me and let me know what do you think about it. We think about having this high blood pressure. We think about the uh, this year doing different things because each and every time we're going to be talking about positive things that are going to be affecting you and me. And I, I can't ex explain to you enough positive thing. You know, you who are listening are the most important persons. Or better yet, the most important people. And I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for all this. And I want to say to you, with this high blood pressure and all this kind of stuff, I, I want to say to you that we, we love you. And, we, and that's why we're here doing this. And I need your feedback. I need for you to tell me about different things. Now, I did I talk to one young lady. And uh, remember I told you, <laughs> it was really funny. She said, Doc, I have these children, and I haven't seen the children's father, and he'll come around, and so forth and so on and so forth and so on. Okay, and I remember. And remember I told you, I said, well, honey, if you have the kids and whatever, God bless you. I thank you for that. Let the, let this let him go and work in the system, do something with your life. She said, but Dr. Morgan, I'm only 30 years old. I can't do nothing in my life. And I said to her, aren't you living? Aren't you alive? Aren't you vibrant? I said, well, can you walk? She said, yeah. I said, well, can you talk? She said, yes, I believe I can talk. I said, let me ask you a question. Didn't you write me this letter? She said, yes, I did. I said, well, if you can walk, talk, write, can you listen? She said, well, I guess I can. I said, well, that's hands the battle right there. Hot dog. She said, you know, I never thought of it like that. See, that's the problem. None of us ever think of the positive things about ourselves like that. A lot of us cannot walk. We in, some of us are in wheelchair, but we can talk. Some of us cannot even... Roll around a wheelchair, but we can write. See? Some we can't do a lot of things, but some but we can see. You see? So we have to look at the positive points in our life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving me these positive things. Thank you for all you have done and you continue to. Thank you. Today and every day. Thank you for allowing me to be here today. You know? Thank you for just waking me up and just be thankful. And listen to people who are going to enhance you. You know, listen to someone who.
who's going to make you feel good about yourself. And as I told you before, remember, I told you this story. And I, I can reiterate, I was a poor local yokel. In other words, I was a poor person living down the way. And down the way could be anywhere. Down the way could be West Philly, South Philly, West Camden, South Camden, West Las Vegas, anywhere, West Virginia, North Virginia, anywhere down the way. And I heard someone say to me, you can be the person that you want to be. And I said, me? And that person said to me, yes, you. You can be the person that you want to be. And I, I couldn't believe it. I was, all, I was broken up, heartbroken. I had one little teeny boy. He was looking at me, you know, being a little boy. And I said, I can't believe this. And he said, yes, you. When you believe in God and when you believe in yourself, there's nothing that you cannot do. And I believe in God. I believe in the positive things that he has done for me. And also I believe, yes, I have imperfections, but I'm not focusing on them. I'm focusing on the positive things that I have. And the more I focus on them, the better I feel about me. Do you understand? So if I can do this, then you can do this too. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, take charge of your life. Look into this high blood pressure thing. Watch all the foods that you're eating. Be careful who you are around. Watch your television set that you are around the right programs that come on TV. Everything is up to you. You have your will to be what God and wants you to be. So now it's your turn. So before I close, I want to thank you for listening in. I want to thank you for all you have done just to allow us to be here. Remember, you are all that and a piece of every part. And no matter who you are, what color you are, what teeth you have and the teeth you don't have, what your hair look like, you are an individual to yourself. You are perfect to yourself and act that way okay so I'm going to tell you right now I love you have a great day ta ta we love you and God bless bye now